So it looks like there's more reasons as to why Juan Dixon from the Real Housewives of Potomac and former Coppin State head coach was let go, or according to Stadium, parted ways. We have to unpack some of the reasons and some of the speculation as to why Juan Dixon will no longer probably have a career in coaching basketball. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, sometimes sports, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So last night we had the breaking news that Juan Dixon had officially parted ways with Coppin State after working with them for six seasons, and he was their seventh head coach. Well, now they are looking for a new coach. And as you know, we have some deep DMV sources. So a lot of this information has been developing and coming to me since last night. So I had to, of course, come back to you with a follow-up video because there are multiple reasons why, and more than three, maybe four or five reasons, why it was inevitable that Juan Dixon was not going to be here at Coppin State right now. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. We first reported to you that maybe it had to do with this pending lawsuit. According to my sources, the school has been actively investigating the allegations of this former student who alleged that he was sexually harassed and other things that we can't get into here by this employee of the university and that they had said, I reported this to Juan Dixon. He is named in the lawsuit. And apparently, allegedly, Juan Dixon did not report this to who he needed to report, to report this to. So a lot of you said, and I've seen your comments, justice for the victim, justice for the victim. Apparently, it doesn't seem like that was the only reason why Coppin State decided to let Juan Dixon go. So did the lawsuit play a part in this? Yes. According to other reports, the recent allegations that have been playing out on the Real Housewives of Potomac of this apparent inappropriate relationship Juan Dixon had with this woman from Canada, that didn't help either. Apparently, that also may have played a part in his parting of ways, his firing, allegedly, from Coppin State. But there are some other elements that we also have to keep in mind. First of all, okay, here... All the sports nistas in the comment section and a lot of you that have been reaching out to me that know and that are fully aware of basketball. I know I'm right now wearing a football shirt, but I said I wanted to feel a little sporty. Okay, I wanted to feel a little sporty. Even got my little cap on. Wrong game. But anyways, so a lot of you are saying his track record for basketball with, with coaching this team wasn't great. Yeah, a lot of you said it wasn't great despite winning a championship. Let me see, what was the championship that they won? Let me just confirm, look, 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 because I've been doing some digging, y'all. So he did win the 2020 to 2021 season of the MEAC regular season championship. So good, good. Look. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We could go even deeper to talk about the track record, the fundraising for this team. So according to my sources, they were saying the track record for the team wasn't great, but also the fundraising wasn't great, which led me down another rabbit hole with one of my sources. So according to one of my sources, Coppin was more than happy to align themselves with the Real Housewives of Potomac at the time. Because it was good for the school to bring in funds. You, you may re remember, I did a video maybe a couple of years ago talking about the backlash that Robin was receiving per, for putting the basketball team's cash app in her link tree. Go Google Schmoogle that video that I did a long time ago. I remember that. But most recently, around the same time that this lawsuit came out, they were doing an event called what is it, Suits and Sneakers, where they use this event to raise money. And the reasonably shady gals, Giselle Bryant and Robin Dixon, were supposed to be there. Well, remember, this, this event happened on November 4th. And according to the Baltimore Brew article, came out November 7th. Well, apparently, both Robin and Giselle were supposed to be at this event, and it ends up 
Giselle was no longer a part of the event. And Robin was the only one that was there. Probably because, and here's another rabbit hole that I went down. You know how we always say that Juan Dixon is doing and being in this relationship? Okay, I say this. It's only in this relationship to secure Robin's job? Well, I also believe this relationship benefited Juan Dixon as well. Because, first of all, a married coach. She's, she's a celebrity wife. Yes, yeah, she's a celebrity, y'all. She's on a, a hit show. And this could bring money to the team. Having her show up to a Suits and Sneakers event will bring money and attention to this team. So as I said to you before, according to my sources, they're saying that part of his, his track record as a head coach with the losing with this team wasn't great, but also the fundraising for this team wasn't great. There's another element. Although Coppin State really l benefited from Juan being on the show and, and connected to Robin Dixon and the amount of attention that it would bring to the team and to the school, it also sort of backfired on them. But here's an, another thing. So Coppin State has a new president. So this president came in at the end of the 2020 school year, literally May 26. I've been digging y'all today. So Coppin State has a new president by the name of Anthony Jenkins, Dr. Anthony Jenkins, I really should say. OK, so he came in like around May 20, uh, May 26, 2020. So this is the end of the school year. So he, and this was literally in the middle of the pandemic. So kids weren't even in school. They were all working remotely. So it's really his first full year as a president with kids in school was this past school season. All right. And as you know, anytime a new person comes in charge, especially a, a president of a university, they're trying to get the lay of the land. They're trying to understand everything. They're trying to understand the basketball team. They, they're trying to understand so many different elements of this school as the president. He, first of all, he did not need this major lawsuit. Now this major lawsuit is connected to, to a celebrity on reality TV. Now the school is getting even more attention. And remember, this president is reporting to other people that are like, what is going on here? Why? It doesn't benefit us anymore being connected to this show or connected to Juan. Okay? So, again, the lawsuit, his track record as a head coach wasn't great. The fundraising wasn't great. Then we had the allegations of possibly you cheating. It's not looking good for Coppin State on so many different levels. And now I'm a new person, a new president of the school, and you're making my job harder. And... You're not, it's not like as if you're a winning coach. Some of you said in the comment section as well, look at Emi Udaka. He was a winning coach and his scandal, although it is big and it's wrong, it's not on the same level as a Juan Dixon. And they let him go. Well, they suspended him. What, what is he doing? What, we haven't gotten an update on where, you know, the last time we reported on him that he possibly was going to the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets. And now we don't know. He's sort of like up in the air. But they suspended him for this past season. And a lot of you said that more than likely he's going to have a hard time finding a new team. But a lot of you that follow sports and follow college basketball said, well, right now, no school allegedly would hire Juan Dixon based off the track record and based off these allegations and everything else. I do believe Coppin State, at the end of the day, they are a college. They are trying to raise money for their basketball team, raise money for the school. Also, in, the, in public opinion, be a great school for people to go to and support. They don't want to be connected to someone they feel, first of all, is going to didn't report these allegations. That, that alone. But we all know that alone is not necessarily going to get someone fired, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because... We want to protect children. We want to protect our students. But apparently, it was a lot of different things. But Coppin benefited from being associated at one point to RHOP, so much so that they were hashtagging it on their Facebook page, promoting this big event, Suits and Sneakers, just back in November 4th of 2022. So here we are today. And I don't know the results of this investigation or if this investigation is over. I'm thinking that the investigation is over and maybe they're going to do some sort of settlement with the student. I don't know. I will keep you posted if I find out any more information. Who knows if we will? If anything, we might find out that, oh, it's been dropped. It's settled. 
I think that might be the next report that we get. And more than likely, Juan was a part of, okay, we're going to get rid of this person for several different reasons. So after last night's initial breaking news that Juan Dixon has parted ways from Cop and State, a lot more has been coming out and a lot of you have been speculating. We're going to definitely see him show up this season. Juan's going to be front and center this season. And I said to myself, well, I have a feeling that Juan is going to completely veer left in his career and it's not going to do anything in basketball because maybe he can't anymore. A lot of you said, when I said commentary, you know, like, well, he barely speaks on the show. And I was like, but he's, I'm sure he knows a lot about basketball and be able to be very verbose talking about basketball. I'm actually surprised he didn't do that. But maybe his dream was to be a head coach. Well, now seeming, seeming that he might not be able to pursue that, maybe he'll move into commentary. Some of you suggested maybe he'll get into real estate. Okay, I suggested that. Into real estate with Michael Darby. Not Darby. And, look, Darby and Dixon LLC. If you were on my Instagram live last night, then you get the joke. Really? Guys, what do you, what do you think about some of the reasons that I've listed in regards to what possibly could be the reason why Coppin State decided to part ways with Juan Dixon? They benefited before from being associated with RHOP. And now that the things have gotten a little hot, and of course, there's a new president at Coppin State, cleaning house. And it just took some time for them to get to this point. Very possible. Guys, we're going to continue to follow the story. And if you enjoy content like this, again, we don't just talk about reality TV here on the channel. We talk about everything in pop culture, including sometimes sports. <laughs> Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the light. I got the fuse, you make a fire I'll ask you, follow my lead Just watch the shoes, gotta turn the heat up To get this cool Yeah, that's fine.